Hi guys, welcome back. Now that we've completed the implementation of the sign up and sign in features, in this lecture, let's continue to build the forgot password feature. What happens if the user forgets his login password? We're going to implement the password reset function for users to reset the password. We're going to need an IB action to reset password after the touch. For consistency, we're going to name it reset password did tapped. As usual, we'll validate the email text field at the very beginning. If the email text field is an empty string, simply display an alert that describes the error. All right, let's put the error message into a global variable. Name it a meaningful name. Please enter an email address for password reset. Okay. Again, the password reset function for users is a simple API call. Okay, let's create the reset password method, method in the user API class. The input parameter of this method is similar to the signup method. So let's copy it over. In the reset password action, once the validation is done, we'll call the send password reset method with the user's email address on an instance of the auth class. We display an alert prompt showing either an error or a success message after the send password reset method call. If it is a success, we ask the user to check the inbox and the app automatically navigates back to the sign in view. Okay, let's go ahead and do those steps. We call reset password method in the forgot password controller. If it is a, if it is a success, we're going to show the success message. So let's create a success message string for this case. All right, we're going to name it success email reset and a message with instructions how to reset the password. Okay. All right. Good. We dismiss the keyboard. And as we discussed before, the app automatically navigates back to the sign in view controller. Otherwise, if an error occurred, simply show the error message. Okay, we need to call return in this guard statement if the email isn't empty to ignore everything else in this action method. All right, to check it out, we'll create a new user. Okay, the email is contact at zero to launch dot IO, for example, password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's refresh the authentication page. This is the new user we've created. In the simulator, go to the reset password screen. Fill in the email, contact at zero to launch.io. Hit reset my password button. Very good. Let's follow the instructions of this alert. Here's our email. Let's open it. To reset the password, just follow the instruction. Let's go, click on the link. Great, let's type your new password. Then hit save. All right, let's go back to the sign in screen again, then enter your new password. Very good, the password has been successfully changed. Firebase also allows you to customize the content and the from email address of the password reset email. You can go up to the Firebase console, choose authentication, email template to customize the email. And Firebase also allows us to customize the email template for the email verification feature or when your email is changed. We'll discuss about these features later. Okay, see you next time.